वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर समिक नंदा फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी खड़गपुर एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस एन पी टी एल सर्टिफाइड कोर्स हुई इज एंटाइट लाइज प्रिंसिपल्स एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनोडेड एल्काइजेशन यूनिक स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड्स इन एसमेट्रिक फैशन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स इज मेनली डिजाइन फॉर एडवांस अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट एज वेल एज पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट इन केमिस्ट्री एंड रिलेटेड फील्ड नाउ पर्टिकुलर इन दिस कोर्स have been uh, divided into few modules and each module contains some specific lectures normally in this course uh, what the main idea was we'll try to create uh, different uh, mode of anode alkylation and how you can create cc carbon carbon bonds in asymmetric fashion asymmetric synthesis probably most of you know that it is one of the major advances in uh, today's world and particularly most of the drug molecules chiral intermediates and active pharmaceutical ingredients contains stereogenic center so to create those molecules in asymmetric fashion or enantiomeric fashion is one of the major challenges the synthetic organic chemist nowadays faced now in this course uh, the main concept or main contents which we are going to cover that how enols can be created from a corresponding carbonyl compound which contains a enolizable hydrogen or abstractable hydrogen and then once the enolid has been created we'll discuss about its reactivity and its structural aspects from different spectroscopical techniques as well as other techniques and then we'll coming to its reactivity in terms of reactivity enols are pretty good reactive and once you are reacting with some electrophile which contains carbon containing electrophile you have the possibility to create new carbon carbon bonds in stereogenic fashion so we'll try to explore those things with different working models for enolid alkylation and finally we'll talk about several case studies and how those enolid alkylation can be used by a group of synthetic organic chemists throughout the world and if you see as typical enols are basically nothing but a tautomeric form of the ketone so ketone and enol this dynamic equilibrium will be initially trying to understanding in terms of normal organic chemistry logic enols can selectively generated once you abstract or expose this carbonyl compounds with the help of a little bit of base or depending on some lewis acid now if the carbonyl compounds are non symmetrical you have a regiochemical issue so in those cases a kinetically controlled mode of enolation as well as is at thermodynamically mode of enolid generation can be possible now those uh, aspects will be covered in detail and then once the enolid generation was done we'll try to quench those enolates with some electrophiles that's the main focal point of our course work once you are creating a carbon electrophile bond you are basically creating a stereogenic center and this stereogenic center if you are trying to Uh, make it through asymmetric fashion that will be the main take home message for the particular course work and what kind of concepts we will be covering how you can control the asymmetric alkylation we will try to give you a different working model in some cases you will find that the substrate itself contained a stereogenic center right means that the existing stereo center can have a regularity activity or can have a predictive model that where from the electrophile will approach to create the new stereo center in those cases we call it intra ligand asymmetric induction means that that chirality was intra means it was there in the existing carbonyl compound in few cases we will talk about cyclic stereo control as well as acyclic stereo control depending on the nature of substrates and in some cases we will try to create a rigid cyclic chelate through coordination metal coordination and then most of the cases will be trying to put some chiral auxiliary what are the auxiliaries auxiliaries are basically small organic molecules which are having pre existing chiral center we'll try to fuse those chiral auxiliaries in our substrates or of the carbonyl compounds and then with the virtue of the existing chirality in the auxiliary you can specifically control or you can introduce the chiral center in the enolate and finally once the alkylation was done 
you can remove the auxiliary. So, you can get a newly created steogenic center. So, throughout the coursework we will try to engage you uh, in different mode of asymmetric anode alkylation and once the alkylation was done how those compounds can be synthetically manipulated for several value added product like natural products, drug molecules, active pharmaceutical intermediates or ingredients and some chiral intermediates. And also we will try to provide couple of take home assignments uh, during the coursework. Each and every lecture contains some assignments and in the weekly assignments you will uh, get exposed to varieties of assignments and I hope this particular coursework will be immensely helpful uh, for the advanced undergraduate student as well as the postgraduate students uh, in clearing their doubts as well as that might be helpful for the all India based competitive exams like GATE as well as NET. Thank you all and I will insist all of you should uh, must enroll this course and uh, we will go through a uh, journey of asymmetric alkylation through anodal alkylation. Thank you everyone.